Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Charlie Lowe. I was gonna uh, sit here and go through uh, my studio. A few people ask me how much I paid for what I got, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and break that down. It's good for you people that's uh, trying to build your studio, you know, starting from scratch. This uh, this studio setup took me about a year and a half to put together. I spent all together about two grand, you know. But uh, I'm gonna go through everything I got here. I guess what I'll do is go over the, the computer first. I know a lot of people are like, man, what I need to have my computer, you know? I don't want to have to go buy no crazy strong computer, you know, to try to run my programs. So I always tell them, you know, uh, you really don't need a strong computer. I started off with like a 1.8 something gigahertz running at about, like I think a gig, what I was doing. That's for a light program. You know, you might want to do a lot more than that, like at least about two. But, um, my computer is a, I got, it's a Dell Slim Studio. I didn't want to go ahead and get an Apple. I'm, I, was, I was like, I've, I've been working on PC for so long, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with it, you know, that's what works for me. So um, I'm running a dual core. I got uh, eight gigs of RAM initially. I, it came with uh, two gigs. And um, I think I spent five, about 560 for the computer originally before I upgraded it. And um, I decided to go ahead, I'm up the gigs. Because, you know, the more you add instruments to your computer and everything, and you start getting heavier with the uh, program, it starts to slow the computer down. So, I highly suggest you might start off slow, but you, you want to you wanna beef it up as, as you go along or whatever. Um, Alright, let's go to my controller. Alright, right now, I'm working with a Akai MPD-24. Uh, when I bought it, it cost about $160. You can get this one for a lot cheaper. They even got the brand new one, the MPD-18. Uh, I think that's running for about 100 right about now. You know, I'm gonna stick with what I got though. I ain't trying to upgrade nothing. This does the trick, you know. Also, for you new people that's not used to NPCs or drum pads, I would definitely suggest you getting the USB interface. Go ahead and get an MPD. So you don't have to worry about all the cords, all the sampling and stuff, unless that's what you're trying to learn right now. All right. Now for my keyboard. I got a real simple keyboard. It's not weighted. It's just simple. It's an M Audio uh, Key Studio. It's 49 keys. When I uh, originally bought it, I got it on sale for like a hundred, you know. So I went ahead and scooped that up. Um, unless you play keyboard, uh, semi-weighted semi or non-weighted, you know, does the trick. You know, I hear a lot of people say, oh, I gotta get weighted, I gotta get weighted. I'm like, if you don't play keyboard, if you don't know how to play piano, don't spend your money to do it. If you're starting off, just get something simple like this, you know. You can probably get this one for a lot less than I spent on it. All right, one thing you wanna make sure you, uh, go ahead and invest into some good headphones I went ahead and ordered these Sennheisers HD 205 I got these because uh, I've, I've been working on Sennheisers for a minute and uh, they've been doing the trick you know I don't get sound leak or nothing I can have that junk blasting out my ear and I'll be good but um, all right, just another note for new people when you get headphones don't get the headphones that have the open backs that breathe because you can hear everything else you know with your music which you don't want to hear especially if you're recording because they're going to get leaked into the microphone but uh yeah these things are comfortable that's one thing that matters because you're sitting in that studio for a minute you know working on your stuff you don't want to be sitting there with a headache you know pushing on your temple or whatever all right oh yeah and by the way i, I paid uh i don't know if i told y'all but I, I paid 44 bucks for those and then um Right, I'm gonna go to my speakers. I got two sets of speakers. I got some regular speakers and I got some studio monitors. Now, if you look at my stu my studio, the way it's set up, uh, you'll see that the uh, monitors are actually above where I would be sitting in front of the computer. That's because usually when I'm listening through my monitors, I'll be standing. Otherwise, I make most of my beats through my headphones. Um, but the uh, monitors I have are M Audio Studio File AV40. I paid 200 for those. You know, they connect through speaker wire next to each other, but I got them uh, going through like a quarter inch plug from out the back of the computer or whatever. They do a trick, they got a little bass to them. And, you know, you don't want to focus too much on bass when you're trying to get referencing though. Um, and then my other headphones, the other, I mean not my other headphones, uh, my other speakers I have are Logitech's. They're uh, X540, <laughs> five point speaker system. They came with uh, five speakers, you get your fronts, you get your surround sound. And you get uh, you get your centers and your subwoofer. Can't really see it down there because it's kind of dark. But uh, you get your subwoofer. 
uh, they do the trick. I say always have some regular, some regular uh, speakers because the average guy, the person that's gonna be listening to your music, they're not listening through monitors and they ain't listening through no studio headphones, you know. So you want it to be crisp through regular speakers after, you know, you, you compress everything and get everything beefed up and stuff through your monitors, you know. That's one thing you always want to make sure you check for. And then um, the microphone. This particular setup that I have, I got from uh, Editor's Keys. I went to the website and checked them out. They got a, they had an acoustic uh, vocal booth. It's like a diffuser or whatever, so you don't get bounced from off the wall into the mic. It works pretty good. I've recorded quite a few things, and it came out pretty good. Uh, make sure you get a pop filter. I always get a pop filter, you know. That helps keep those uh, certain sounds from uh, popping into your mic, you know, when somebody's spitting or singing or whatever, you know. But uh, I paid 410 for this whole setup. It came with the uh, Editor Keys Vocal Booth Pro and the uh, their SL 150 Studio USB mic, and uh, it's been it's been working fine for me. I haven't had any problems. Now I will hit on one thing. I know most people are like, well, I don't. He doesn't have a you know an interface. I don't really care for the interface, you know, because USB runs just as fast. If you got a pretty good if you got a pretty good, you know, sound card, USB runs just as good going through as having an audio interface. So I'm not really uh, stuck on having to have analog, you know. But uh, I don't know. For new people, like I say, it's, it's cheaper to me to go USB in the long run. You don't have to worry about buying an audio interface. Like, if I'd have bought all of this with an audio interface, it would probably cost me a bit more because audio interfaces aren't cheap. Not by a long shot, they are not cheap. But um, anyways, that's my studio. And the beat that you're hearing right now is something I made up in uh, FL Studio. You know, If you got any questions, want to hit me up for some beats, hit me up for uh, some more knowledge or whatever on what's going on, You know, what you want to do with music, let me know. But uh, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and head out for y'all. All right, peace.